Hello everyone, welcome to Richmond Raceway, the first round of the eNASCAR Ignite series. So as already mentioned, this is going to be a couple heat races, and honestly I did not get enough practice for this track, so I really did do terrible here. So here's my qualifying lap, which was okay. I know I could have definitely gotten better. I've managed to do a couple tenths faster, but for some reason I just wasn't able to do it here. Basically on this track with these cars, you want to enter wide. First you want to stay high here for the qualifying lap to get as, most, uh, the much, as much speed as you can down the runway, but I hit the wall there which just messed it up, so I'm going to restart. Let's try this again and see if I can get it right. Going down the track, flooring it, up to second gear. Stay high, keep it there, try and get on the gas as much as you can, then bring it up to the wall, keep the foot down, then keep it wide arc. I didn't do that wide enough at all. Keep it down to the ground, don't give too much gas, but bring it out to the wall. I didn't give enough gas there and I got a little loose. I could have entered a little bit wider there and braked a little earlier. That actually got me tight and then loose at the end, I guess that's called push loose. And I got on the gas too early. Okay, let's see if I can get this lap right. Stay on the exit. Nope, didn't exit. Didn't enter wide enough. Stay off the gas a little bit more, and then get on and bring it up to the wall. That was okay. Let's see if I can do this last one. I could have entered a little wider there. And I, no, uh, yeah, I messed up there. Getting too loose. All right, so there we go. Those two terrible laps wound me up getting a 22. No, that's not possible. 22.0. What? Oh, 21.9. That's what I got. Okay, I don't know why it said 22.0. That would have been terrible. Anyways, 21.9 is terrible too, as you can see. I know I was doing definitely 21.2s in practice. Apparently, something happened to the track and nobody can do it. Anyway, so that qualified basically terrible. I went into one of the very very last heats that actually goes off the sheet so let's go ahead and skip over to that okay so I qualified for heat 5 which is really bad now if I would have won this that wouldn't have been that bad but the problem is I did really terrible first I was got too nervous I guess so I let this guy down on my inside those guys get spun I almost get caught up in it but dodge it get past that guy which gets me up to a okay position I'm now up to, what is it, I think P5 or 6? Let's see as I go down the line. That is P8. No, P6, okay, I guessed right. I don't know why my tires are still showing orange. These cars are really fun to drive and they really are pretty competitive. I think it's a good choice that they chose these. The only problem is I think they chose the little overpowered version, but that's not really a problem we can adjust and get used to it. So there, I was trying not to block too much because I really didn't want to get spun. Let the guy down on my inside, but I was holding off pretty well on the outside until those two guys crashed and I almost got hit, and so I had to slow down and let the guy by. And now I am P7 because of that, I believe. No, oh, I passed those two guys, and that actually led me up to P5. So it actually gained one position because of that. Didn't really bother too much, I guess. But now I'm stuck behind this guy, I need to pass him, which is going to be really hard because I need to catch up to him, and he seems faster than me. Getting closer to his bumper. Getting really loose there. Trying to dive down the inside, but I accidentally dumped him. As you can see, I just bumper hit his bumper just a tiny bit, which dumps him. That brings me up to P4, and to be honest, I didn't really want to dump that guy because uh, I didn't really want to dump him. So that brings me up to P4, and now this is lap 6. There's 10 laps in these heats, I believe. Yeah, there is. So a couple more laps to go. I'm pretty much going to stay where I am. I'm not going to advance because the field pretty much took off. You can see the gap right there is really huge. That's definitely not going to happen within the next 3 laps. A couple guys had to pit. They do give you one faster pair, but really, it's a heat. Faster pair doesn't really help you at all unless the field wrecks. So this guy's right on my bumper trying to catch up to me. I'm really trying to defend fourth because I really want it. But he's going to get by on my inside, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right here. He dives down to my inside. 
Now I'm really holding off the outside really good here, but the problem is I got way too loose there and smacked into him. That gave me a little loss in SR, but that didn't really lose my position. Right here, you can see I'm getting so loose. There we go, this is the last lap. He's still on my inside. Let me see if I can get a camera where you can see. Come on, hurry. Okay, here we go. Coming down to the to the checkered. I made it way too wide there. And then I almost smacked the wall, and that let him by, so I got fifth. Anyways, heat five, fifth position. I obviously did really bad. I honestly don't really know that much about how heats work, so if you guys want to explain to me in the comments, that would help out a lot. Okay, so here I am in the B main. And I think the winner of this gets transferred to the feature. Here we go, green flag. That's up to fourth position now. Another thing you gotta realize is we're fighting for the top 30. The top 30 people will make it to the final race where the winner will be claimed the champion. So really, heats here don't really matter except for popularity. So right there, the problem was, let me go ahead and show you if I can get a better view. Here we go. So the problem is we're going three wide. Now I don't really know how I'm supposed to... I mean obviously I know. You can see right in the corner that's like an air intake or something is kind of covering up my view so I can't really tell where the car is especially since I'm not used to driving this thing and so when I take it three wide I give a lot of room to the 22 over there and then I pinch down the I think this is the 16 car because I really don't know where my car is and so because of that as soon as my spotter says three wide I decide I should let the 22 have more room since he's close to the wall I don't want to slam him into the wall and so I decide to come down since this is a huge racetrack. Now, obviously, obviously the 16 car also has that intake thing in his way, so he doesn't see me coming down, and I don't, I didn't know he was there. So when I come down here, I smack into him basically, and we both wreck. Here we go. This is three wide, so I'm coming down. Honestly, that was just really stupid move on my part. So I came down so much. That was way too much. I smack into him right there. Try to correct it, but it's too late. And then we both smash into the wall. You can see he saved it right there, but I hit him again. And by this point, we're both doomed. There we go, spin it out. If I would have gave gas there, I probably could have made it, but there we go, slam into those guys. Slam into that guy. Smash the wall, and my race is over. My suspension's totaled. So, I try to start the car again. Make sure there's nobody coming. And then I'm going to bring it down pit road. Take my fast. Now the problem is also I forgot to check my fast repair, so that wasted time. I had to stop before my box to check that off, and take no tires and all that. And now I'm a lap down, and I am P12. So my race was basically over by then. And then comes the warm up and the feature race, which I didn't make. So that's it for Richmond. I look forward to Bristol. I practiced a lot, and I seem to be doing pretty good. I'm I'm running 14.8s uh, now, and 14.9s and 15s around there. So. I'm looking forward to Bristol, hoping I can make the feature race this time. See you guys then. Thanks for watching.